President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session and again the chamber hands the floor to the deputy co-prosecutor to continue putting questions to the civil party and the vous pouvez poursuivre Deputy co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. Le co-procureur adjoint, merci, Monsieur le Président. And Mr. Witness, before the break, Avant I la ask pause, you a question. Monsieur le Parti civil, je vous ai posé une question. That you actually went to work at the Spin Shrine uh, work site. Donc, uh, vous êtes allé Could you elaborate a little bit further what kind of work that you involved vous in the Spin Shrine work site and did it have any a connection to the Depends Modern work site? De travail et y avait-il un lien avec le site and de so Trapiankman? We actually built a dam at the Spinstrain work site, and in fact, that uh, dam uh, was linked to the Bentmore Dam. Et ce barrage était relié à celui de Trapiankman. Question. And what was the purpose Question. for the construction of the Spinstrain Dam? And so now I don't know uh, the reason for its construction. Question. Let me turn to the Trapiankmo Dam work site. Question. J'en viens maintenant au site de travail de Trapiankmo. Can you tell the court how many workers were on site at the Trapiankmo Dam work site? Il y avait combien d'ouvriers sur place à ce site de travail de Trapiankmo? And so there were thousands of workers. Réponse. Ils étaient des milliers. Questioned and were those workers a uh, mixture of uh, male and female, for example, Ces and their age aussi range? Bien des hommes que des femmes et quel Can âge you elaborate on that? Pouvez-vous nous donner des détails? Answer. Réponse. The workers were between 18 years old to les uh, 30 years plus. Âgés dans they were in ans mobile units. Ans voire plus de 30 ans. C'était des membres d'unité mobile. Question. Were they Question. mainly men or they were a mixture of men and women? S'agissait-il surtout d'hommes ou y avait-il également des femmes? There were both Réponse. male and female work workers. Il y avait they aussi were male and female youth workers. That's what uh, they used to call at the time. Uh, c'était des jeunes travailleurs. C'est ainsi qu'on les appelait. Il y avait Question. aussi bien euh, des hommes que des femmes. Question. Did the worker have the right to choose the work that they, they did? Et ces travailleurs pouvaient-ils choisir only had les to tâches à exécuter the ou work assignment by their respective unit simplement de suivre les ordres des chefs d'unité? No, they did not have Réponse, any choice. They non, had to uh, complete the work assignment by unit chiefs. Ils devaient effectuer les tâches uh, Question. Did anyone refuse to carry out uh, the uh, work assignment? And if so, what happened to them? And uh, no, I do not know uh, if there were anyone who dared to refuse. Non, j'ignore si quiconque a osé refuser de travailler. Question. In your response to the, lead co to the uh, lawyer for civil parties, you said that you were required civils, to carry three cubic meters of vous avez soil dit avoir été per day. De transporter trois mètres cubes de terre par jour. You also added that uh, certain workers in certain groups had to do three and a half cubic meters. And even up to four cubic meters per day. Cubes, voire 4 mètres cubes par jour. 
Can you uh, tell the court why your group will was assigned three cubic meter each? Votre and group why in other groups they had to do 3.5 cubic meters while the other groups had to do 4. And uh, I was Réponse. in a group with uh, less than the regular manpower and we were assigned uh, less than the regular manpower units. Notre charge de travail était inférieure aux autres Question. unités qui eux avaient euh, un What is the difference between a regular manpower Question. group and your group? Quelle est la différence For instance, entre ces groupes euh, aux effectifs habituels et votre groupe? Does that refer to members of the group due to their personal strength, for instance? Uh, C'est-à-dire que il y avait des membres du groupe qui étaient plus ou moins forts, par exemple? Answer. My uh, group uh, was selected from the rear, from the so-called rear battlefield, while the regular workforce group groups were already assigned to the front uh, battlefield uh, in terms of uh, engaging in that kind of work. Question. Were there any groups? Question that were assigned to carry less than three cubic meters per day? Y avait-il des groupes qui devaient réaliser moins de trois mètres cubes par jour? Answer, no. Réponse, no. Question, and uh, in doing the three cubic meters Question. of soil per day, what kinds of Et tools or equipment uh, de par were jour, given uh, to your group? Vous disposiez de, de quel équipement, de quels outils dans votre groupe? And uh, the only things that we Réponse. were given was baskets, carrying poles, and des, holes. Uh, des paniers, des manches pour les transporter, were et des heavy machines uh, used to aid at your work? Que on and uh, no, the uh, things uh, we had were Réponse, the holes. Nous n'avions que ces où? Question. So, does it mean you Question. only had uh, carrying baskets and holes donc, vous to que complete the three cubic meter work assignment uh, per day? Pour par jour? Answer, yes. Réponse we had oui. to use the hole to uh, dig the soil, and sometimes we had to use our hands to put the soil onto the basket and carry et, the basket uh, to dam the, the soil à la main, at the dam. Uh, uh, mettre la terre dans les paniers et le transférer ailleurs. Question. And were you able to Question. complete the three cubic meter work quota a ce quota on a daily basis? Par jour, tous les jours? Answer. I don't understand your question. La partie civile. Je ne comprends pas votre question. question. Allow me to question. refresh my uh, question. Je vais la reformuler. You stated that you were assigned to carry three cubic Donc, meters of soil per day, and that was the daily plane assigned jour, by your unit chief. Quota, uh, vous a and été, uh, par le chef de votre unité. what did you do in order to complete this work quota. Uh, and so, uh, if I could not quota. complete the three cubic meter Réponse, work quota, si I would uh, be deprived of food until, uh, and I had to continue working until 10 o'clock uh, at night before I would be allowed uh, to stop working and eat. Que ne à, uh, et à manger. Question. You also stated Question. that you started working at 4 o'clock in the morning. À à du matin. And at night time, you continued to work until 9 or 10 o'clock through the night. À neuf ou dix du soir. Did you have sufficient rest time in order to resume your work again? Que vous de temps de repos? President, uh, the de Defense Council, Kung Sum On, you have the floor. Kung uh, uh, On, thank Kung you, Kung Mr. Kung President. Defense, From Kung what Kung I heard, Merci, 
D'après ce que j'ai entendu, la partie civile a confirmé Unis chief actually uh, rang the bell and it was not the time that they commenced the working in the field. Uh, sonné le réveil, ce n'était pas l'heure de où on commençait à travailler sur le site. Le procureur allow me to clarify that with the civil party and Mr. Civil Party, what time actually did you start working in the morning? Civil pour clarifier les choses. À quelle heure avez-vous commencé à travailler le matin? We we would work whenever it was clear enough that we could see other workers. Nous devions travailler dès qu'il faisait suffisamment jour. Pour voir les autres travailleurs. Did you have to wake up when the unit chief rang the bell at four o'clock in the morning? Est-ce que vous deviez vous réveiller à quatre heures du matin lorsque le chef d'unité sonnait le réveil? The bell was rang at four, and if no one, anyone, did not get up by that time, then the person would be whipped. Si on ne se levait pas, on nous infligeait des coups de fouet. Question. Went to sleep there at ten o'clock at night and had to wake up at four in the morning. Did you have sufficient sleep to continue working the next day? And no, I did not have the actual strength to work the next day. But I had to force myself. Otherwise. I would be deprived of food. Sinon, on me, on allait me priver de nourriture. Question. Question. You said in the unit there were both men and women, and were female workers required to carry three cubic meter of soil as men. And so, three cubic meter of soil as men. Everyone, every worker had to engage in the three cubic meters work quota on a daily basis. Question: In your response to the lawyer for civil parties, that you had to carry the soil for a distance of 15 meters, can you actually tell the chamber how many? Kilos of earth you put on each basket that you carried. Avez vous placé dans chaque panier? Donc quelle était la charge de chaque panier lorsqu'il était rempli? Answer: The weight was about thirty to forty kilograms. Pesait entre trente et quarante kilos. Question. On a daily basis, who actually engaged in Doing the inspection in order to ensure that workers completed the daily work quota. Did you inspect the work to ensure that the quota was respected? Did you and your group did? Par vous-même et les membres de votre groupe. And so it was the unit chief Roy who did that inspection. C'était le chef d'unité Roy qui était chargé de faire ces contrôles. Question. Question. You stated earlier that you would be deprived of food until such time that you completed your work quota. That is by ten o'clock at night. And if you couldn't complete your work by ten o'clock at night, were you still given food to eat? Vous attend néanmoins donné à manger. Answer. We would be given food to eat by ten o'clock, even if the work was not or the quota was not completed. Even if we had not met the quota. Question. Did you ever hear that any some workers were accused of being lazy? À votre connaissance, est-ce que certains travailleurs ont été accusés de paresse? Answer. There were workers who were accused of being lazy, and they were deprived of a gruel. However, workers who were sick were given gruel to eat. Mais les ouvriers malades, eux, avaient du gruel à manger. 
Did you ever hear about any measure taken against any worker who was a later of being lazy? For example, they were assigned to a separate unit. Des mesures ont-elles été infligées à ces travailleurs accusés de paresse, par exemple, ont-ils été transférés à une autre unité? If, uh, for example, non. a uh, worker was si, lazy, the unit chief would come and rip him and then chase him to go to work. Des coups de et, euh, lui Question. Also, Question. in your response to the lawyer for civil parties, you en made a request to visit your home, but it was not allowed. Were you given the reason that you were not allowed to visit your home? Refusé cette possibilité de vous rendre chez vous pour une visite. Est-ce qu'on vous a expliqué pourquoi? And uh, no, they did réponse, not give any reason. Non, they said that I expliqué. was not simply allowed to visit home. Que, euh, je pas le droit Question. In Question. your unit, was there any member who Dans actually missed home a lot, uh, a lot and without authorization uh, that y person y actually uh, ran home to visit uh, uh, his or her home? Uh, qui, euh, ont, qui auraient défié les ordres et qui seraient rentrés chez eux Answer, néanmoins, no, uh, qui avaient très envie no d'aller chez eux. In my Réponse, group. non, pas dans mon groupe. Question. Question. In, in your case, you uh, sought permission, but it was not granted, vous and vous you did not uh, go as a aller, result. On vous a refusé. Uh, cette demande and can et donc you tell pas allé. the court the reason why you did not go? Pouvez-vous nous dire pourquoi vous n'êtes pas allé chez vous? Answer: I dare not go because I was afraid that uh, Réponse, I would be killed. Je if pas y aller, I was still stubborn uh, and si uh, went, I would be killed by Anka. J'avais peur que d'être tué par Anka. And how did you Question. learn that? Et comment avez-vous appris cette euh, Answer, ce risque It Réponse. was uh, spread through the unit chief uh, during a meeting Cela that a if anyone did lors not obey Anka, the person would be si taken away and killed. On n'obéissait pas à Anka, on serait emmené et tué. Question. Question. At the Trepent Modern work site, were there any guards or uh, soldiers who were watching over the workers? Qui surveillaient les travailleurs. And uh, there were no soldiers, Réponse. however, uh, once in a while I uh, saw a militiaman carrying a weapon walking up and down uh, at the work site. Uh, 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 President, court officer, uh, court to check. I Le think there is uh, an uh, alarm, uh, alarm bell ringing or something. Je crois it une seems alarm. there's uh, nothing. Vérifier. And the deputy co-prosecutor, you may continue. Le co deputy co-prosecutor, uh, thank you, Mr. President. Vous, vous now, on the, uh, the seriousness of the work Président. condition, did you ever hear or see any worker died from overwork or from starvation? Si des travailleurs sont morts de faim ou de surmenage? I saw with my uh, own réponse, eye uh, that uh, 
person died from starvation. However, that happened when I was at the plowing unit. The person was actually starving and begged for a piece of rice, but no rice was given, and the person actually died. And it happened in front of me. Question. Question. What about uh, any? What about those? Were there any uh, workers who died from overwork? Et qu'en est-il du surménage euh, And, uh, des no, travailleurs I sont-ils morts any... euh, d'un excès de travail? Réponse non. Euh, Question in your response to the lawyer for civil parties on the sleeping quarter. What kinds of uh, necessities given to you at the sleeping quarter, for example, was a mosquito net, a sleeping mat, or a blanket uh, given to you? Avez-vous un matelas, un moustiquaire, une couverture? Answer, no. Réponse. There was no mosquito net, no, no pillow, no mat. Uh, we had to find a means of uh, uh, sleeping by ourselves. For example, you could find a piece of mat and you actually exemple, slept on it. And other people un, actually un slept on the ground uh, itself. Ou alors, uh, certains dormaient à même le sol. Question. During the time Question. that you work at the work site, and was there any Réponse day that it rained or any night that it rained while you travail, were sleeping at your sleeping quarter? Uh, Est-ce qu'il a plu uh, pendant la nuit pendant que vous dormiez? Answer yes. Réponse oui. Uh, sometimes it rained at night, and uh, due to il the patchy roof, the rain drops fell in, uh, and we could not sleep. Donc, we had to uh, sit up uh, all night, uh, and rentrer, we had to pas still start working in the early morning. On ne dormait pas de la the nuit, et pourtant day. on devait tout de même aller travailler tôt le lendemain matin. Question. Question. Did you mean that uh, your uh, group members were soaked uh, under the rain and that you could not donc, sleep les membres at de night votre when it trompés, was raining? Uh, la nuit, lorsqu'il pleuvait, que vous n'arrivez pas à dormir. Answer. We were not Réponse. allowed to rest uh, the next day as we had to uh, continue ne working ne despite de the rain the previous lendemain. night. Il fallait continuer à travailler même s'il avait plu la, la nuit. Question. Question. Were there any uh, toilets or any facilities that you could uh, relieve yourself uh, nearby your sleeping ou quarter un or the uh, workplace? Uh, de où vous dormez, où où vous Answer. No, there was no uh, toilet or anything. Actually, people uh, relieved themselves in uh, bushes nearby. Se À côté. Were there insects or mosquitoes, or rather uh, flies, on site? Question: Y avait-il des des insectes, des mouches? And so, if you talk about flies, there were swarms of flies, and you could actually oui, see darkness of partout. flies on your uh, bowl of gruel. Y avait, uh, on avait des, des mouches euh, sur la nourriture, euh, sur le bol de gruau que l'on mangeait. Did you have access to mouches. drinking water or uh, to bathe yourself at the workplace? Y avait-il de l'eau potable side? ou de l'eau pour euh, vous laver euh, sur place sur and le site uh, de travail? No. Réponse euh, non. Uh, water was uh, transported by ox carts to the uh, work site for a rice cooking. And we had to go and wash ourselves uh, in the nearby stream. Travail, uh, uh, par, uh, Question. Et, uh, laver, so there was no uh, sufficient water on site, and the water had to be transported uh, from elsewhere. Where was the place, water transported from? Et d'où provenait cette eau? Answer. They would go and fetch water Réponse. from any available stream or pond uh, nearby the work site. Uh, dans des ruisseaux ou dans des étangs Question. proches du site de travail. 
question. And thus, the water that you drank properly filtered or boiled. Cette eau que vous deviez boire euh, était-elle filtrée ou euh, avait-elle uh, été bouillie? It was rather muddy, non, but we had to drink de it. Boueuse, euh, mais il fallait la boire. Question: Since there was Question. no sufficient water and no uh, toilet facility, what happened to those toilette? female workers, for example, who experienced their, their monthly Par exemple, uh, cycle? Uh, des femmes uh, menstruées. Answer: I cannot tell you about réponse, that. Uh, je n'en sais rien. Question: During the time Question. that you worked at the Tarpent Modern Work Site, did you ever fall sick? Lorsque vous vous avez travaillé au site de travail de Tarpent Modern, êtes-vous tombé malade? Answer: Yes, uh, twice. Actually, réponse, I oui, contracted reprises. fever twice, and uh, I was merely given two. Tablets on of rapid, uh, pilot, uh, rapid drop pellets. Two, two comprimés en forme de crotte de lapin. Question: So you had fever and you were given rapid drop Question. pellets. And if you were euh, sick of other diseases, what kinds lapin, of medicines uh, given to you? La fièvre. Et sinon, si euh, vous souffrez d'autres symptômes, euh, quels so, médicaments no, vous êtes-vous donné? Non, je ne peux pas vous parler de ça, mais il n'y avait pas de propres médicaments sur place. Il n'y avait pas de médicaments sur place. Question What about the uh, medical Question. staff? Qu'en est-il du personnel médical? Uh, Avait-il de l'expérience? En matière des soins. And so I did not know whether réponse, they were uh, uh, knowledgeable. However, the si pellets that were given to us were in the shape of the uh, rapid drops. Étaient en forme de crotte de lapin. Question: And how old uh, were the uh, medical staff? Et ce personnel médi médical, uh, quel âge avait-il? The age is range between 10, 22 to 23 years old. They were, they were uh, female medical staff. Question: While you were working Question. at the Department of Modern Work site, did you see any work-related accidents on site? Avez-vous été témoin d'accidents uh, de travail, yes. accidents sur le site de travail? There Réponse, was. Oui. People nearby the place that I worked were uh, digging the soil, and accidentally the hole hit the head of another worker, and he was bleeding Donc, everywhere. Question: And where was the person sent for treatment? Question: uh, Qu'a-t-on fait ou a-t-on envoyé uh, ce travailleur no, uh, pour être he was soigné? Not sent Réponse: uh, Non, but through on the ne lui a envoyé nulle part. On l'a simplement envoyé au dortoir pour se reposer. Et une femme, membre de l'équipe médicale, uh, est venue soigner la plaie. Question: Question: Do you recall if at the uh, work site and or at your sleeping quarter, a loudspeaker was used for or to make uh, travail, announcement or to play music. Vous dormiez, y avait-il un haut-parleur pour diffuser uh, de yes, la musique ou des annonces? Yes, a loudspeaker uh, was Réponse, uh, oui. used and they play the uh, revolutionary songs, including the victory of the 17th April day. Notamment euh, celle concernant Question, la victoire du 17 avril. Question: Besides played over the loudspeaker, was other information broadcast? A-t-on diffusé d'autres informations par ces haut-parleurs? Answer: No. Réponse. Besides songs, there was nothing else non, played over the loudspeaker. However, the uh, loudspeaker was used uh, when workers were called Mais on to attend a meeting. Pour, uh, Question. Mr. President, 
Uh, I don't have any further question for this witness, and I'd like to cede the floor to my international colleague. And thank you, Mr. Sibopanti. President, thank you. And the international deputy co-prosecutor, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Civil Party, I just have a few questions to follow up on. Monsieur la participe, uh, from what my colleagues have asked you earlier, dans la suite de par mes can you please tell us how many people were in your mobile unit when you were working at the Trapping Tma Dam? Unité mobile lorsque vous avez travaillé au barrage de Trapping Tma. Uh, there were 70 uh, workers in my uh, unit, and uh, my unit was known as the 100-man unit. And there were other, uh, so rather it was called big unit, and there were other uh, units in the form of 100-man unit or 1,000-man unit. And who was in charge Question. of your 100-man unit? Et qui était responsable de, de votre unité de 100 There were other units and respective uh, chiefs, and in my unit there were 70 workers, and we were under the supervision of the unit chief. Do you remember the name of the unit chief? Est-ce que vous vous rappelez le nom du chef de votre unité? No, I forget his name. Non, j'ai oublié son nom. Other than uh, Taval, who you've mentioned, and uh, your, um, the, the chief of your 10-man group, uh, Ra, do you remember anyone else at Trapeng Tama who had supervisory authority? There were uh, uh, units chiefs at different levels, for example, 100 men to units chiefs or big units chiefs, but I do not recall their names. You mentioned earlier that uh, when you were at Trapang Tama Dam, you were in Sector 5. Do you uh, remember what zone Sector 5 was in? It was under the northwest zone. And did you know who was in charge of the northwest zone? Who was in charge of the northwest zone? I do not know. I know only Taval. Were you aware of a time while you were in the Northwest Zone that people from the Southwest Zone took control? Bad dung. Answer yes, Ye I know. Réponse, oui. Ye jime. Ye jime. And do you remember when it was Question. that you were aware that people from the southwest zone had taken control of the northwest zone? Que des gens de la zone sud-ouest sont venus prendre le contrôle de la zone nord-ouest. I cannot recall it well. What I can say is that it was in 1978. Ye Jaim was the one who came to arrest Tawal and my parents to be killed. 
And how did you learn that Taval had been arrested? People in mobile units said that uh, Taval was taken away and killed, and uh, they said that uh, those from the Southwest uh, were good people, and they came to replace uh, the old cadre. After a period of time, uh, Ye Chaim were even crueler than others. Can you explain how Ye Cham was crueler than the previous persons in charge? qui était responsable avant elle. What I know is that after Ye Chaim, Ye Chaim came to replace the previous cadre, uh, many people uh, died before that. Uh, not so many people died when Taval was in charge. Did your life as a worker get worse, better, or stay the same after the persons from the southwest zone took control? ont pris le contrôle de la région nord-ouest. Answer. Réponse. Quota, work quota remained the same. Uh, we were assigned to, com I was assigned to complete uh, three cubic meters of soil. De creuser trois mètres cubes de sol. Thank you. Can you tell us how many times a day while you were at the Trapang Tama Dam were you allowed to eat? Combien de fois par jour vous autorisez à manger? Answer. At the beginning, we were allowed to eat three times a day. A, a day. Later on, uh, uh, we were reused to have only uh, the thick gruel. Par la suite, nous n'avions plus plus que de la bouillie épaisse. Later on, would you still eat Question. three times a day? Preniez-vous toujours trois repas par jour? Answer. No, the rice was running out, and uh, later on we were allowed to have uh, rice uh, at lunchtime, and uh, we received another meal in the evening. So, am I correct in understanding that later on you would only eat twice a day, once at lunchtime and once in the evening? Answer, yes, that is correct. While you were living in Praia Net Praia, Question. were you ever asked to write your biography? Answer, no. Réponse. No. no biography was asked, no On notebooks, no pencils at a time, carnet, nothing at all. You referred to yourself earlier Question. as a 17th April person. 
Can you vous vous explain what that means? Quelqu'un du 17 avril, qu'est-ce que cela veut dire? Pourriez-vous nous l'expliquer? Answer. Réponse. 17 April, people were evacuated to live in Pranetre district, and uh, the local people there were named base people, and the newcomer would be named new people or 17 April people. And how would people know that you were? A 17th April person or a new person versus being a base person. Comment les gens pouvaient-ils faire la différence? Answer. It was. It is known by uh, the way we speak, uh, and uh, people, I mean, base people, uh, spoke with their accent, so they would know that we were a new people by our accent. And who would refer to you as a 17th April person or as a new person? The cooperative chief. Réponse, c'est le chef de la cooperative. The cooperative chief said that uh, we were the 17 April people because uh, we were new at the place and uh, 17 April people were allowed to have uh, only gruel, not rice. Rice is re was reserved for base people. Were there any other ways that 17th April people were treated differently from base people? D'autres domaines dans lesquels les gens du 17 avril faisaient l'objet d'un traitement différent de celui des gens du peuple de base? Answer. Uh, I'm sorry, I could not get your question. You just mentioned that 17th April people would receive gruel, whereas base people would receive rice to eat. And I was wondering if there were other ways in which 17th April people were treated differently from base people. Différemment des gens du peuple de base dans d'autres domaines ou d'autres façons également. Million. Réponse. Answer. Base people did not uh, work uh, very hard. Uh, they could uh, tell the new people or 17 April people to work instead of them. Were there a lot of new people working at the Trapang Tama Dam? De gens du peuple nouveau qui travaillaient au barrage de Trapang Tama. Answer: There were thousands of them. Des milliers, répondez-moi. Were you ever required to attend any meetings while you were working at the dam? Answer: Yes. Sometimes we were called into a rally or a big meeting Nous to alert us to strive in our work and au cours de on uh, nous we were de required to be in the meeting uh, to uh, make a commitment that uh, we had to meet the three cubic meters of soil per day. À atteindre notre quota de 3 mètres cubes. And who would speak at these meetings? Question, qui prenait la parole lors de ces réunions? Qui parlait?
Ansa. Réponse. Unit chief, the big unit chiefs, uh, chief Les of uh, 100 member units, chief of 1,000 member units, they did not mention their names at uh, the meeting. And would they discuss anything Question. else besides that you had to meet your work quota? Answer. Uh, we were told to meet the, uh, the work quota set by Anka. Réponse. On nous demandait de respecter le quota de travail établi par l'Anka. Were you aware of any people who were considered to be Vietnamese or to have Vietnamese ancestry that were working at the Trapang Tama Dam worksite? Good luck. Answer. I have never heard uh, people talking about that matter Je at my uh, work site. Sur site, sur site de Question. 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 Meet. Answer. Réponse. Cham were living uh, with us. They spoke a uh, weak uh, with Les accent, Cham and Cham people sometimes said uh, uh, they did not eat pork, Et and uh, the worker teased uh, them because of uh, that statement. Les à cause de and cela. from what you observed, were Cham persons treated any differently from other workers uh, at the Trapang Tama Dam worksite? Answer. At my worksite, nothing happened as uh, you site, said. Perhaps uh, something happened at other worksites. Mais peut-être était-ce le cas sur d'autres sites de travail. You mentioned earlier that you were aware of people going missing. Que vous saviez que des personnes disparaissaient. Were you aware of people going missing from your unit, or was it uh, people going missing from a bigger group of workers? Members from my unit or group disappeared. Yuen disappeared. He was taken away and killed. Did you see Un being taken away? Avez-vous vu que l'on emmenait Un? Answer: No, I uh, did not witness. Non, je n'ai pas assisté. But I uh, did not see him. He disappeared. Mais il a disparu. Je ne l'ai plus revu. And why do you conclude that he was killed Question, after he disappeared? Il a été exécuté après sa disparition? Answer. I have Réponse. told the court already. I was in one instant. I was told to Comme je get déjà dit the à string la of the earth basket and uh, at that time uh, uh, I was told that I would be taken away and killed so I, I was managed to make an, es make an escape. I told a civil party lawyer already about this. And were you aware of other workers other than Un who also disappeared? Answer. Réponse. Uh, 
I cannot recall all the names. Uh, many people disappeared noms. from time to times. Beaucoup de personnes disparaissaient de temps en temps. From the time that you Question. were expelled from Phnom Penh until Entre le moment où vous avez été early January 1979, were you aware 1979? of any marriages? That took place. Savez-vous s'il y a eu des mariages? Answer: Yes, I was aware of the marriage. Réponse: The oui, men and uh, women uh, did not love each other les at that time, and uh, they were paired up. Uh, Uh, and uh, they were on les allowed to get married. Et on 10 or 20 couples married at a time. 10 ou 20 couples se marier en même temps. And these marriages that you're referring to, did Question they happen when you were in Kandal, in, when you were in Praia Net Praia, or in both? When I was at Spin Strain, Spin Strain, I noticed there was a marriage. Y avait un at that time, there were five men and five women. They were paired up and they were told to sit across each other. And in that ceremony, they were asked to stand up to make a commitment that they would get married. De I, uh, was not, à être uh, uh, I, I was not forced to get married at a time, non, but I was there as a witness in the ceremony. And do you know who made the pairings of the men Et and the women and who led the ceremony? Et qui conduisait la ceremony? Answer: The unit chiefs. Réponse: Les chefs d'unité. And what what happened after the marriage ceremony was concluded? Et que se passait-il à la fin de la cérémonie de mariage? Answer: I did not know what happened after the marriage. Je ne sais pas ce qu'il se passait après le mariage. Thank you, Mr. Civil Party. Thank you, Mr. President. No further questions. President, thank you. Je vous remercie. It is now convenient time for the adjournment because we still have only a few minutes. L'audience pour aujourd'hui, il ne nous reste que quelques minutes. The chamber. Adjourn its hearings now, and it will resume its hearing tomorrow on the 28th July 2015, and uh, it will continue, Mr. Simpon. After that, uh, we will hear 2TCW858. Please be informed. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Simpon. The hearing of your testimony as a civil party has not come to an end yet. You are therefore invited to be here again at 9 a.m. Court officer is instructed to send Mr. Sainz upon to the place where he is staying Prendre at the moment, and please invite him back into the Monsieur courtroom Sainz before 9 a.m. Thank you as well, Mr. Sainz Untang, TPO staff. The chamber would like to invite you La to be here again to support the civil party during the court proceeding tomorrow at 9 a.m. Security personnel are instructed to bring Mr. Nunchi and Kyuzum Pon back to the detention facility of the ECC and have them return 
tomorrow before 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.